flagrant, flagrant one is the call. Puts Avance on the line. Remember, they'll have the ball after this as well. So, boys, fl flagrant one. Obviously, contact above the head. That's two free throws. Williams gets to stay in the game. So Avance makes the second free throw. There's Jonathan Williams still on the floor, as Richard says, and does remain in the game. Well, that was the right call by the officials. Yeah. Just took him a little longer than you yeah, would like. two is going to be you know, the, the, the distinction, at least the way that I understand it, is has a lot, a, a lot to do with intent. And right there, clearly an inadvertent elbow uh, to the head. Stewart facing the trap gets out of it to Crandall. Crandall getting the trap. We go back and forth and jumping around is Perkins. Perkins lays it up and into the foul. Boy, Josh just jumped that pass. And look at the finish. Boy, just a, a lazy pass from Stewart. And just a big time finish. He has struggled tonight, quite frankly. Josh has stretches where he struggles to finish at the rim. And right there, he, uh, that's about as tough a finish as he's had all year at the rim. And that puts now Crandall in foul trouble with three. Perkins just under 80% on free throws on the season. This makes it still a two point ball game. I think all of us, when we started talking about the upsets that happened today in college basketball, the top 25s losing to unranked teams, we kind of mentioned it in the same breath in this game. We never thought in a million years that we'd be in that territory eight minutes to go. Crandall, another get out of here, man. nifty, creative finish. He's now starting to get comfortable and show some of his explosiveness. And he is a under-the-radar NBA prospect. Tilly had a good look. Now dribbling in, loses the ball. They have numbers. Four on one. High pass to Stewart. Somehow kept it in bounds. And then here's Seals, who backs off. And a good play here. Back it up. Get into what you want. You got another mismatch here with a little guarded by a big and Williams. Gonzaga has missed seven of its last eight, desperately needing a stop here. Five on the shot clock. The kick out, Jones wide open three at the buzzer. Beats the shot clock, the lead back to seven. If you're gonna knock off a top 25 team on the road, you've got to have multiple guys step up and make plays. North Dakota has had that tonight with Seals, Jones, and Crandall. No answer on the other end. But now it's Perkins up top. The three is back and forth. We go from beyond the arc back to a four-point ball game. A tough break there for North Dakota. Seals just trying to tip it out against the larger man in Williams, and it goes right to Perkins. We'll take the timeout. Gonzaga climbs within four, 57-53.